to set a basketball on fire and really you're just going to be dealing with textures um i'm just going to grab a basketball real quick off google images copy this and uh apple v to paste it in or control v if you using a uh, windows computer And then you can push uh, Apple T to free transform it, or you can go edit to transform and then, or I'm sorry, edit free transform. Make sure you hit the uh, the chain to make things proportionate when you shrink it. All right, so I got it the right size I want it to be. Now I'm just gonna get rid of this background around it. <coughs> Okay, next we're going to need a texture, a flame texture. And textures are great because they will, uh, you know, they give you like an extra dimension to your designs or your layouts. If you type in like textures and Google images, you'll get unlimited different types of images, especially if you get specific like uh, carpet textures or flame textures or... Uh, like sand textures, basketball textures, whatever texture you're looking for, you can find it. So we're just going to put this on here, shrink it down a little bit. It's watermarked, but uh, that's okay we're not going to sell this here. Just going to use it for demonstration purposes. But, okay, we're going to take this image... and set it to screen. Now that gets rid of the black and all we have to do is deal with the uh, colors and the, the highlights really. So now that we've gotten rid of that, that was easy. Um, just gonna play around with the background a little bit just to show you guys what I meant. See the darker you make it, the more everything else shows up. I'm gonna put kinda like a a gradient in the background but first I'm gonna get rid of this uh, label down here and kinda make the flame fit to the basketball sweet 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 okay that was easy um, now we're gonna defringe the ball to make sure there's no like white artifacts around the edges I'm just gonna go ahead and um, add a couple of blend options or I'm sorry layer options uh, such as like the inner shadow just to create a little extra depth and make the picture look a little bit more realistic now you can play with all these settings to you know get the feel that you're looking for um, I felt like the inner shadow worked really good here because uh, obviously where the, where the ball is burning at, it would be darker like it's getting burned. And plus that's like the bottom of the ball. So there would be the most shadow on the bottom beneath it. <clears throat> okay, we're just going to blur the... Uh, little light effects that I'm throwing on here and I also set them to screen so you can sort of see through them it's just to kind of make the flames kind of pop out at you a little bit more uh, duplicated the layer real quick which is Apple um, Apple and J or control J if you're using a Windows computer all right now I'm gonna mess with the bevel and emboss mm. This here is like, you know, a preference thing. You can use it or you can actually get by just without it. I kind of like to use it. I think it adds a little little bit of oomph, kind of like a, a rim light effect to it. And then the drop shadow here is just to kind of add depth to the design overall. It doesn't really... I'm not using it as an actual drop shadow in this instance. Just 
play on my layers here to see if there's something I want to get rid of. I don't know yet. Kind of indecisive. I'm going to turn the ball around, rotate it, uh, which is Apple T, like I said earlier, or Control T, free transform. Yeah, I like that better, I think. Hmm. Most of the inner shadow. Okay. We'll roll with that. Oh, that's a control. I'm sorry. Apple Q to brightness. I actually set my own shortcuts on some of these, so it's not Apple Q. So don't push that because it'll actually make you quit the app. <laughs> yeah. Just playing with the hues and saturation a little bit. Now, you notice if I take out the background, you can still kind of see the texture of it. Mm. Now I'm just kind of getting fancy and stuff. We already pretty much have our finished product, as you can see. It's looking good, looking good. Okay, I, I like the flame sticking out more like that. We're going to uh, take the top layer and blur it after we've duplicated it with Apple J. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm going to use the wave. And that will kind of like create a smoke effect. Uh, to desaturate the colors, I pushed um, shift Apple U and it got rid of all the flame color. Now we're going to just put a little blur on it to give it that smoky effect. Wow, there we go. And there's your flaming basketball. You got any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments below.